hey there everyone and welcome back to the android training now let's get started with the basics and we are all at the same page the android studio windows mac guy no problem at all now you'll probably get started with a plain slate there my in mine one is saying a little bit some things here but don't worry this is one of the old project that is showing up there and uh, yours will be completely new so i'm not gonna touch it i'm not gonna be touching this i'll just create a new folder on my desktop and I'll be simply calling this as Android exercise. And oops, I'm just typing everything here uh, that was not meant there. And I'll be just going there. And hopefully it will allow me to type. So Android training. And you'll be finding everything there. Uh, we'll very soon upload this onto the GitHub so that you can find them out, all of the projects. Okay. So now uh, let's just keep it there and let's start a new project now uh, before i would like to make sure that you understand this is going to be a little bit long movie because we have to explore android studio we'll create our first hello world as well as we'll create our android virtual device there so uh, let's just call this project as simply test and make sure that the first letter is capital otherwise it's going to yell at you and say the application name for most application begins with an uppercase I know that and we'll start with the test there. Now the next one is the company domain. It is usually there to make sure that your package name is unique and it doesn't conflict with other packages name of kind of a same project that you're doing. Like for example, there are hundreds of to-do lists there on the uh, Play Store there. So make sure that you name it uniquely. In case you don't have any company domain, uh, right now it's not gonna bother us much so we can just leave it with an example.com but in case you have your website then it's really great it's awesome just put it there in the reverse order there now we don't want any project to include c++ right now it's completely okay now it's asking me to put uh, everything onto a location and you can click on these three dots there and these will allow you to simply just place your project anywhere you want now i want my project to be on the desktop and in the desktop i'll go for android training and this is where i want to put the file name there so click on ok and there we go looks nice everything looks cool to me i'll click on the next and now here comes the big decision point now this decision will uh, decide that how many devices you are allowing to use your app now right now it's saying android ice cream sandwich which is running almost 97.4 percent of the devices so this is the backward compatibility we are saying that hey uh, any device which is running even the ice cream sandwich will be allowed to just download my app now obviously you can go for the latest one the marshmallow and the nougat which is recently out there and there but you can see your app will run on less than one percent of the devices which is we don't want that we don't want to do that so you can go uh, with a little bit like uh, ice cream sandwich uh, it doesn't really matter as of now because most of the thing that we'll be doing in the starting of the project will be working on even on the ice cream sandwich or maybe the jelly bean or whatever you like to have in this case so yes you can choose the nugget there but uh, right now we are completely ready and happy with the defaults there okay so uh, rest of the things are really good okay uh, let me choose the lollipop there if it is there uh, you can go with that but again uh, reduces the number of apps so let me just make everything uh, back there and let's choose uh, ice cream sandwich there makes 97.4 we are happy with that as of now later on for sure we are going to change that and let's click on the next now comes uh, the most screen which we'll be seeing quite a lot now android gives you a lot of options as a startup screen definitely you can add more and can change them on the later on uh, time but right now uh, it says hey you can choose basic activity empty activity M activity just basically is the screen that you see in other uh, programming environment you call them as a scene uh, it's exactly the same if you're coming up from the ios or anything else it's exactly the same uh, right now we are going to go with the empty activity later on for sure we'll explore like full screen activities google map activities what are they and how we can utilize them for sure that's going to come up later on right now empty activity is quite good for us uh, let's click on the next and there we go now here comes the activity name and the layout name 
Uh, now we don't need to touch them as of now later on when we learn about the Java and how we can change the class name and everything related to that we'll surely do that right now default is kind of a thing that we want here and click on the finish now obviously it's going to take a couple of seconds depends on what kind of system you are now it's creating a gradle project info right now just keep in mind that yes there is a thing known as gradle and uh, it is used to make some uh, different changes while compiling your app uh, later on surely we'll explore that but right now we don't need to touch that at all so it's opening up it shows a startup tip at the very end it's annoying for me so i'm gonna just uncheck that that says show tips on the startup and i'm gonna close because it annoys me if you want tips every time you open it up then for sure just keep it there i'll close that now this is the first project that you'll have yours might be simply closed like that uh, just like that so there you see two folders there the gradle script which we won't be touching right now as i just mentioned and then we have an app folder in the app folder we have a manifests uh, the xml file for our android app there and you need to double click that to load that file and uh, i'll just close that right now we don't need it then we have got the java the meat part of our app and we won't be touching the test the two test folders there uh, this one and this one our main part is going to be inside this folder where our main activity file is placed and this is our main activity file by the way okay and then we have got resources folder where we can put up our drawable our audio if our app requires an audio or some of the images that our app require and everything that is resource is going to go there so uh, right now we're going to work most of the time here and this is the environment where we'll be working quite a lot so this is what we have this is the area where we have the things there and by the way if i just uh, go into the layout and click on the activity main.xml uh, i can just uh, load it up there as well and you can see a lot of things are there uh, obviously this is a very small tiny guy and if i zoom it there you can see there is a hello world barely visible there but yes there are things and there we have a widget library component tree and some of the properties being there so if i just try to click on this hello world you can see properties are being loaded here uh, this is completely changed as of now you can also click on the view all property and there we go a load ton of properties are there i know this sounds intimidating but don't worry about that right now just follow up the two things the first one is the plus icon there it allows you to zoom a little bit there so that you can see the things uh, quite easily there and you can just go ahead and uh, just go and try to fix them up uh, there we go quite easily movable things there and you can just put this hand and you can just pan it zoom it wherever you want it looks good let's close that as of now hey come on get off there okay there we go and the important part is we want to run this hello world now but we haven't created any avd android virtual device but still i'm gonna hit the run so there we go it says initializing uh, but it hasn't found any devices yet why because we haven't created any so let's create a new virtual device and there we go now it will show you a ton of devices there right now i'm gonna go with the android s because it's a smaller one smaller devices and i have uh i don't have much of the screen real estate there so i'll just stick with the smaller one there of course you can choose any of them which is bigger which one you likes and you click on the next now i'll just run this first one there with an x86 you can also go with the x86 64 which is a 64-bit architecture right now our apps are going to be a basic one so that's why we don't need 64-bit architecture yours going to be saying a download for every of these because we haven't downloaded them yet you can just click on the download and i agree and license agreement and everything and uh, make sure that it it's gone away now once you have downloaded that uh, then you can click on the next and there we go our device name is going to be android s and i'll leave everything as the default and uh, rest of the things are exactly fine for me and i'll click on the finish and now it's going to take some time there we go and i'll click on okay there and now 
Here is the bottom part is actually a kind of a console area or terminal area where we'll be seeing all of our errors as well as all of our messages which is working. Okay, so I'll just bring this guy there. Oops, where is my Android device? Here we go. There is our Android device. Now, my machine is a little bit fast and I have uh, allotted a lot of RAM to these uh, devices or phones. That is why it's gonna run uh, really quick. Not that much quick, but decently quick. Uh, but in your case, it's not gonna be that much quick. So you have to wait a little bit time there. Okay, so there we go. Our Android is launched really quickly this time. And I'll just uh, launch there. Okay, and there we go. We see our tiny hello world there. No big deal, no big deal. I know we have done a tons of things there but it's completely okay that you have run your first hello world app and that's it that's it what we are going to do here because i know i have worked really smoothly in this video and it was a little bit quick i do agree and yours gonna take a little bit while and we'll catch up again in the next video